Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable. And you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, If you want to get off your drugs and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have questions about anything we've been speaking about here today for the last couple of weeks or the longevity products, you want clarification on protocols or formulations or ingredients, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have a common or success story, you'd like to talk about our true treatment products, 844-236-6010, something you may have heard about, read about. 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We love hearing from you. And we do have a uh, full board of empty lines. Nobody's on the line now. Now's the time to call if you've tried to call in the past and not gotten through. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all your favorite Longevity products, your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Osteo FX, and Healthy Start Pack. They're all up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team by clicking on the Join the Team link. Start, you could start a Longevity business, get your products at the wholesale price, or be in business. Have yourself a full, fully-fledged business for 25 bucks. You can buy your products at the wholesale price, sell them retail. You can go all in and start a big start a business by um, going with the CEO pack and all the various ways that you can join in. I think $400, $500 gets you everything you need to start a business if you really want to do it. And a lot of people are enjoying the benefits of having their own business, working out of the home, writing off their home office, and helps spreading the word, helping change the world at a really basic level, the level of good health. That's what nutritional supplementation is about. That's what the longevity products and the longevity philosophy is all about. It's all about good health, and you can participate if, it's, if uh, you, you enjoy the benefits yourself. If you notice benefits from, from the Healthy Start Pack and the Sweeties and the Fucoid Z yourself and you want to help share and spread the word and start a business, please call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we've been talking about the nature of the cell as a little biological organism, uh, uh, truly the most miraculous thing in the universe. Nobody has any idea where they came from, how they came about, how they do what they do. They are pure unknown. Even if we understand and even if we've seen some of the basic biochemistry, some of the basic molecular chemistry of what's going on to us inside a cell, How the whole thing works is really in the realm of the miraculous. There's no way science could ever understand how this whole thing is put together. There are millions of working parts in a cell. Millions of parts that are constantly breaking down and building up. How can this possibly be? There are six feet of DNA uh, wrapped up in a space that's a thousand times smaller than the head of a pin. There is so much unbelievableness going on inside a cell. 
But, but it's more than just that. Yes, that is incredibly important. And that is, to me, once we get this miraculous nature, the, the miraculous nature of our cells and the miraculous nature of us, because we're made up of cells, we will be far more likely to take care of ourselves. We will be far more likely to, or less likely to not take care of ourselves, to abuse ourselves. Just by understanding that, you know, you know, when they make computer chips, they have to wear masks and they have to put, do, make these computer chips in clean rooms. Because if a little speck of dust gets into a computer chip, it messes up the computer chip. Well, how much more complex do you think a cell is? A cell is not supposed to have a little speck of dust, except uh, when we say we, there's no specks of dust that get into cells, but there's specks of processed food chemicals and there's specks of pollutants from our air. There's all kinds of specks that our cells have to, it, have to deal with, specks of, of dust-like material, smaller than dust. They get corrupted and they get polluted, and this is where we get sick from. And then you throw in the, uh, add to the fact that they don't get, the cells don't get what they need, deficiency states, it's obvious why we're sick. And this is the dirty little secret of medicine, by the way. This is where disease and health are at the level of the cell. It's the dirty little secret of medicine and big pharma because big pharma can only poison your cells. Sorry. And doctors can only kill your cells or cut, or, or, or should say cut your cells out or radiate your cells maybe. Or, or they have, or they can electrocute the cells. That's what doctors do. They electrocute, they ablate, and they remove the cell. And what does big pharma do? It poisons the cell. That's our medicine. That's what we call medicine, people. That's why it doesn't work. In a nutshell, it's the dirty little secret of medicine. Nobody's talking about the cell. So if you think we're just kind of been going in the weeds here, which we have probably a little bit, it's for good reason. Number one, it's so that we can get a sense of the miraculous nature. Not, not trying to understand the miraculous nature. You can't understand it. That's why it's a miracle. It, you just have to get a sense of it the miraculous nature of the cell, and then secondly, because we got to be able to address the cell. Because if we're not addressing the cell, you're not going to get healthy. It's as simple as that. If you're not addressing the cell, you don't have to actually think about what you're, you know, you don't have to actually take a, you're not, you're not going to feed the cell with a spoon, but it's by our lifestyle. It's by our choices. It's by the foods we eat. It's by the supplements we take. It's by the thoughts we think. All of this is about the cell. And we have, see, that's the cool thing. You know, your doctor, he can only remove the cell. He can only electrocute the cell. He can only uh, ab ablate the cell, burn the cell, radiate the cell. The, the, pharma the uh, uh, big pharma, the drug companies, the, your pharmaceuticals, they can only poison the cell. They can't do anything to help the cell, but you know what? Because God, or evolution, whatever you want, whatever it was, has set it up so that the cell is... 90% self-sustaining, we can handle the remaining 10%. The cell is set up to, to do its own business. It needs 10% of help from us. 90% it will do its own. That little help it needs is just the raw materials. It doesn't even need help from us. It needs the raw materials from us, the building blocks from us, and not a lot of crap. It doesn't want to have a lot of toxicity coming in from us. That's basically it. Starvation, suffocation, toxification is the only thing that can go wrong with a cell. Food, oxygen, and a clean place to do its business is all a cell needs. A cell, this little miraculous bioorganic electrical system, it's a, it's a biological living system of electricity. It's living electricity. It's electricity with consciousness. It's electricity with a will. It's electricity with volition, just like us, by the way. We are macroscopic versions of that little electrical system. The cell's got a battery, it, or I should say it is a battery. It has batteries too. It is a battery and it has batteries. It conducts charges. It's a capacitor that holds on to charges. It's a semiconductor that stores information. It emits light. It's a light-emitting diode. Yes, it emits light. Oh, it emits light at different colors. How do you like that? Can you imagine what the cell would look like if we could but see it? It's, and it's not just emitting light at different colors. It's kaleidoscoping so that the colors are constantly changing. This thing is amazing. We are amazing. All right, 844 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this.
Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you're dealing with aging skin, blemish skin, dry skin, and you're looking for treatment products for the skin, Look no further than truth treatment pro, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and check out our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, our Truth Transdermal, our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and now our Truth Biomimetic Priming Mist. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. If you've got aging skin and you want to prevent it from getting worse, or if you've got young skin and you want to prevent it from aging, now's the time to do it. Use high doses of vitamin C, Use high doses of retinol periodically, uh, uh, intermittently. The body loves intermittency. body loves periodicity. It loves to have a rest. It, it loves to have a burst of energy and then a rest period. And we do that in the gym. When we go to the gym, take days off. And when you're using your retinol, you'll take days off as well. Retinol 5% gel is meant to be used once every 10 days, 7 to 10 days or so. Although some people use it more than that. Vitamin C and vitamin A being your major anti-aging topical skincare ingredients. And if you're not using vitamin C and vitamin A on a regular basis, you're missing the boat on anti-aging. And where do you get vitamin C and vitamin A in high concentrations in a topical product? Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And don't forget about our biomimetic priming mist made with electrified plant minerals. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We're talking about the cell, this little electrical system that is the microcosm of us. As goes the health of the cell, so goes the health of us. It's not just waxing poetic at the amazingness of a cell, although it's really easy to do that. And, and really honoring or just being in awe of the miraculous nature of it. It's functional too, because you can't be healthy without having healthy cells. And sometimes we don't make that connection. It's hard to make a connection between, say, uh, urinary tract infection and unhealthy cells. But guess what? The reason we get a urinary tract infection is because there's been an, uh, the cells of the bladder have been affected by bacteria. It's hard to make the connection between the nature of a cell and Alzheimer's disease, but it's really just your nerve cells that are, de de that are deteriorating. Parkinson's disease, same thing. Huntington's disease, same thing. It's just your nerve cells that are deteriorating. All disease is cell disease. How many times have we said that? All disease is cell disease. We've got to get this down about the nature of a cell. All this stuff that's so miraculous about a cell it takes energy. The cell is doing all kinds of things. It's shape-shifting. It's emitting light and colors. It's communicating. It's moving. It's eating. It's, it's uh, making proteins. It's transporting proteins. It's making itself. It has to form itself. It's just all an incredible seething a cauldron of energy, and it takes energy. Guess where the energy comes from? It comes from us. The energy that drives the cell is what we call minerals. That's what drives the energy of the cell. It's what we call minerals. They're not, at the cell level, they're called atoms or, electron, or, or uh, elements. But we call them minerals at our level. We're a macro version of a cell, and the minerals to us is, uh, is atoms to the cell. And the, we eat the minerals, and they get processed. They turn, at the end of the day, they become atoms for the cell. It depends on us. And if we're not giving it the stuff it needs, there's no way it could do what it needs to do. And then on top of it, we drench it, we saturate it with toxins, whether it's toxins that we call prescription drugs. Oh, yeah, prescription drugs are cell toxins. A cell has no need for a prescription drug. That's all you need to hear. If you're on a prescription drug and you understand the nature of a cell, you're not going to take that prescription drug because, unless you have an absolute emergency, because, and, and by the way, I am a big believer in pain pills and also antibiotics. Sometimes, shouldn't let me qualify that about the antibiotics, sometimes. So uh, any case, at the level of the cell, your blood pressure, your, your beta blocker or your calcium channel blocker is killing it. And only God knows how we got this idea that by killing a cell, we can be better off. And it doesn't completely kill it sometimes. It just toxes it up so eventually it dies. It's the minerals that drive the cell. And the minerals have to come in through food and supplements. They travel through the digestive system and the blood, and they make it to the cell. And then they're transformed into energy for the cell to do its work. And this, all these minerals, and that's not, by the way, vitamins help the minerals work. 
the vitamins help the elements work. Vitamins are important, obviously, but it's the minerals that are conducting the electrical energy. It's the minerals that are driving the, uh, all of that stuff, uh, the, uh, the, uh, all that activity that's going on inside the cell. And, and what's so cool about it is a lot of that energy is transferred at the level of the cell membrane. The minerals just flow through the membrane and also through membranes inside the cell, There's, believe it or not, and that's another incredible concept. There's membranes inside the cell. All the little substructures have their own membranes. And it's this movement of electrical energy through membranes that accounts for all of the energy. This movement of minerals through membranes. Minerals and membranes is where the cell gets the energy. So that's why we talk about minerals all the time, and that's why we talk, we've been talking about membranes. Minerals and membranes together make energy. And you probably heard, or you may have heard of those little things called mitochondria. They call them the cell factory. Well, now you know how the mitochondria work. It's minerals and membranes. The minerals flow through membranes, except the mitochondria have all these membranes. There's lots of them, and they're wrapped around each other. And they're, it's, like, it's like when you wait in line at a, uh, at TSA at the airport or at a concert sometimes or to pick stuff up. If the line is too long, they'll wrap things around. They'll wrap the line around so they can fit more people in the same amount of space. That's how membranes work inside those, these little substructures. They're wrapped around so you can have more surface area to get even more energy. That's how energy happens. It's, it's really mind-blowing, but it's all, mem it's all membranes and minerals. Membranes and minerals. Minerals we get from food. Membranes is where we really got to pay attention. The membranes are fatty, and that's why fats are so important. And that's why once your fat processing goes off, you will be messed up, and, and not in a good way. It'll be everything from cancer to heart disease to irritable bowel syndrome to autoimmune disease when your fats are messed up. Basically, that's the biggest problem we have is our fats are messed up. We all, we, you know, when you think about it, we're all getting a lot of food. We're getting plenty of calories, but because we don't process fats correctly, we can't make membranes, we can't get energy, our cells can't get energy, and they die. Or at least be the first they become dysfunctional, and then, and then they die. And that's why everything you can do to focus on your fats is so darn important. Fats, 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 fats. Now, we spent a lot of time talking about this thing called membrane lipid replacement, or MLR therapy, which is where you eat the fats that make the membrane. But you also got to focus on... Uh, absorbing and utilizing the fats. That's where bile salts come in. That's where your ultimate enzymes come in. That's where probiotics come in. It's one of the major reasons why good bacteria are so important is because they facilitate fat processing. Nobody ever talks about that. We do on this show. But you don't hear a lot of people talking about how if you have a problem with fat metabolism, you have accelerated aging, which is a sign of problems with fat metabolism, or you have any autoimmune disease, another sign of improper fat metabolism, or you had a gallbladder taken out, use, use your nightly essence. Eat fermented foods. Work on intestinal health. Get, make sure you're eating enough fiber. Use veggie juices. Use your veggie juices with fats. Use fats with your veggies. Veggies and fats go together. If you, use veggie, uh, if you mix your veggies with fats, you get more of the active material. If you use your veggies with your fats, the veggies help you process the fats. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com. Actually, ben, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com and brightsideben.com all have search and uh, all have the longevity products if you want to purchase the longevity products. And they all have a join the team link that you can click on if you want to join the team. Join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. Start yourself a longevity business and help change the world via nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Our number, 844-236-6010. And we got a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls here moment in just a moment. I want to read a couple stories first. From Medscape. 
dry eye, no benefit from fatty acid supplements. Omega-3 fatty acid supplements do not alleviate dry eye disease according to results from a randomized controlled trial. The reason I think this is important is not necessarily because of the idea or, or the, uh, the headline that you don't benefit, from, your dry eyes don't benefit from omega-3 supplements, but I think it's kind of more important than that. What I, when I read articles like this, it really kind of, this is from the New England Journal of Medicine, by the way. When I read uh, articles like this, it, it just, it shows me how little doctors in the medical model understand nutrition. You'll see studies, oh, omega-3s don't alleviate dry eye. Vitamin E doesn't protect you from heart disease. Vitamin A does not, contrary to popular belief, uh, make your skin, make your, uh, clear up your eczema or clear up your acne. What these, what these studies show is that you can't isolate specific nutrients and then use them like you use drugs. Nutrients are not drugs. They don't work the same way. What they're trying to do is they're trying to collapse these two ideas together. And that's why you'll hear doctors, and you always can tell somebody who's not hip to nutrition when they say things like, well, there's no real evidence. And they did this study that they found that the, only 20% of people benefited only from nutritional supplements, only 10 or no, there were no benefits for this particular nutrient for this particular disease. It doesn't work that way. Nutrients are not drugs and you don't use nutrients like drugs. They're part of a team. They're part of a lifestyle. They need each other to do their work. Vitamin C doesn't work if you don't have enough protein to make collagen. Or at least vitamin C isn't going to help you make collagen if you're not processing the proteins to make the collagen. They all work together. You can't isolate uh, specific nutrients and specific diseases. I call this for that. Oh, I got this? I take that. That's the drug mentality. Omega-3 fatty acids are a critical, critical anti-inflammatory supplement or, or substance, nutrient, and supplement. Dry eyes caused by inflammation. Dry eyes caused by a problem producing fat, uh, producing fats. Yes, dry eye is also a fat problem. Dry eye is not a water problem, it's a fat problem because the membrane's not working. It's a cell problem. So omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids are, are, are important for keeping you from having dry eye, but it doesn't follow that you treat dry eye with omega-3 and omega-6. You need vitamin E, you need vitamin A, you need to stay away from problem foods, you need to do the whole thing. You can't, it's not fair to take a supplement and then test it like you're testing a drug for a specific challenge and then deduce from your results that that is not a necessary supplement, which is what they're deducing. They all work together. Omega-3 fats and omega-6 fats, by the way, are especially important for skin health, all skin health issues, both omega-6s and omega-3s, and don't believe that malarkey about we get too many omega-6s. We need both omega-6s and omega-3s. Omega-6s are part of the structure of the skin. Omega-3s are part of the immune system of the skin. They're both important. Omega-3s, by the way, are especially important for the brain, for babies' brains. If you're pregnant, for you know anybody who's pregnant, give them the gift of the ultimate EFAs. Give them the gift of a smarter baby, of a, a baby with better hand-eye coordination. All right, 844-236-6010. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Liz in Ohio. Good morning, Liz. <laughs> Hey, Liz. Hi, Ben. Um, I started having seizures a few years ago, and I've been on several different medicines from the doctor, and on my own I've tried all kinds of supplements, including the Longevity products. Okay, let's I've get done... you taken care of here. Let's fix you up, okay? First of all, what are you on? Tegretol? Dilantin? Valproic um, acid? The, it's called oxcarbazepine. Uh, op, ox, ox, ox carb, carbamazepine. So yeah. yes, that is a very, on. that's the real deal. That is a big time drug. That is not for the timid, but they actually use it for a lot. They actually use it for bipolar disorder and um, they use it for uh, trigeminal, trigeminal neuralgia. Uh, they use it for a lot of things and it's really, really a terrible drug. It's a little bit better. I think it's supposed to be a little bit better than the, the carbamazepine with the Tegretol, which is the, were you on Tegretol at all? No. No, they just gave you. They, they just went right into the ox carb carb carbazepine. Ox carbazepine. Yeah, is how you say. It. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Well, what I was what I was going to say is that you know I've done all kinds of things on my own, including the keto diet for over a year. It did it help? Um, but not, 
No, I think the only thing that actually helped was starting to take fish oil. I saw a big difference with that. But now my doctor wants me to start getting tested for brain surgery, which I really don't want to do. Of course you don't want to do it. Of course you don't want to do it. I would do, yes, exactly. You're a wise woman. I wanted right, to know so, your opinion. Lots of lots. There's lots of ideas here. Well, first of all, how did you do the ketogenic diet, just for curiosity? Um, I mean, I mostly I, I ate eggs in the morning and then a dinner of, you know, are you sure you did it correctly? Are you 100% sure I mean, you did I, it correctly? Not, no, no, listen. Are you 100% sure? Yes, no. I mean, I, I guess I wasn't, you know. No, I'm not trying to scold anybody. you. I need just yes or no. Because if you're not 100% sure, I'll proceed. But if you are 100% sure, then I won't bother. So do you, is the keto, did, are you 100% sure that you did the ketogenic diet correctly? I mean, I guess no, but I did okay, good. test then, my then let me, then, let me then, then let's talk about it. Because the ketogenic diet should work. Okay, if you do it correctly. Okay. All right. Now I don't know if you have, you know, there's something structural in there that you need. I assume it's not because they would have told you. So it's probably just biochemistry. If it's biochemistry, then the ketogenic diet should definitely work. The ketogenic diet is a low calorie diet where you are doing like 1,200 calories a day kind of thing. Yeah, and I lost a lot of weight. Okay, well, that's a good so. thing. That's a good thing. So you were, you kept your calories really low, right? Yeah. Okay. And I did so fasting periodically also. Okay, so it sounds like you're on the right track. So how about protein? What was, where was your protein? Um, eggs, chicken, a lot of that. Okay, do you know that protein throws off the ketogenic diet if it's not done correctly? I Did guess you know no. That? Did, okay, that's, I, I'm not picking on you here. I just want to, I'm I just kind of, okay. So yes, a lot of folks don't know that. Uh, protein gets turned into sugar. And the body will use protein. The, the whole trick of the ketogenic diet is, <clears throat> excuse me, is you want the body burning fat. Because the ketones are generated when you burn fat. If you have too much protein in there, the body will burn the protein before the fat. And that will get turned into sugar, and that throws things off. Does that make sense? You follow me? Yeah. Okay, so you might want to try the ketogenic diet again and just pay attention to the protein. Because that usually, it, if it doesn't 100% work, you notice a benefit from it. The fish oil is great. That's awesome. And the fact that it's helping it tells me that it's probably a biochemical issue more than it is a, some kind of structural issue. I don't, why would they do brain surgery on you? Do you have a tumor? I mean, what are they trying to do? No. What are they trying to accomplish? Did you ask or do you know? She says, she says that she believes that it's in the temporal lobe, but... Well, she no, believes sure it's in the temporal lobe. Testing. What does she believe that's in the temporal lobe? A tumor? I mean, what is she trying to correct no. with surgery? So what do you correct with brain surgery? You reroute things? I mean, what do you do? To brain surgery is not. I, if you I don't know. I know. She's going to cut open your head and give you brain surgery. And, she, and, and for what? If you have a biochemical issue, what's the brain surgery going to do? Are you with me? You, you hear me? You hear yeah. the question? Okay, hang on. Don't go away. I'm, I'm, All right. And we'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844 236 6010 is our number. Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Liz in Ohio. You there, Liz? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, doctors cut. That's what, or surgeon, surgeon. You know, that's what they do. So, you know, you don't want to fault the surgeon for being a surgeon because that's what you do. If all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, right? So that's what she's right. doing. So it's not her fault. However... You don't want to have brain surgery unless you absolutely don't have an option here. And I'm going the biochemical route before I'm going the surgical route, personally, if it's me. You're smart on the omega-3s. Very good idea. Stay on the fish oil. Maybe increase the dose. Get on uh, the B vitamins. Uh, beyond tangy tangerine, sip on that all day long, and I'd be taking extra B vitamins. If you're a sugar eater, you have, that's, you have zero tolerance for that. And then also, uh, and you know, when I say sugar, I'm also including things like fruit juice and uh, rice and potatoes. You got to really be careful with all anything that spikes your blood sugar, because when your blood sugar goes up, it then will go down. That's called hypoglycemia when it goes down, and that's a big trigger for seizures. You with me? Yeah. So keeping your blood sugar stable is very important. Protein will do it a little bit. I said protein gets turned into sugar, but it doesn't get turned into sugar. It happens gradually. So uh, um, uh, protein, uh, increasing your protein and also really increasing your fat. I would try the ketogenic diet again. Being careful with your protein, doing coconut oil for fat and butter. 
Uh, I would definitely be doing that again. Electrolytes, also very important. Again, beyond tangy tangerine, vegetable juices. Eating is not your friend in general. So the less you eat, the better off you're going to be. Uh, you may want to try something called GABA, G-A-B-A, which is a nutritional supplement, maybe 1,000 milligrams a day. You might want to try glycine, a nutritional supplement that has been shown to be very effective for seizure disorders. Magnesium might be helpful as well for you, all as part of an entire system. Of course, you don't want to just do one thing, you know, take, do nutritional medicine. You want to do nutrition as part of a nutritional program. And then... Uh, also, uh, uh, if you have any food allergies or gluten intolerances or food, uh, digestive intolerances, those are also triggers. Uh, do you notice that you have seizures anywhere related to your menstrual cycle? Uh, no. Okay. Do you have it just randomly? Can I say that? No. They, okay. Yeah, so I've good. tried to find a pattern. But did, you, and you, did you do the food? Did you, did, did you look for food? Yeah. I mean, okay. I tried to, yeah. What's your food? What's your digestive? Know. What's your digestive health like? Um, seems pretty normal. It does. Well, <laughs> that's not a necessarily a good thing. You know, 80% of people have digestive issues. So when you say it seems pretty normal, that means you may have something that you want to focus on there. Uh, if you can track it to foods, that would be really helpful because foods can definitely be triggers uh, for seizures. Also, low levels of oxygen can trigger seizures, hypoxia. So make sure you're doing your SDR breathing, slow, deep, rhythmic breathing. Are you on any medicine aside from the carbamazepine? No. Okay, so that's a good thing. Uh, also, uh, in order, you, you might also want to start doing nutrients to detoxify the drugs, vitamin C in high doses, and acetylcysteine. Uh, these drugs, these seizure drugs, are, are especially toxic to the liver. They're very, it's toxic to the body, and then the liver's got to do the work, the heavy lifting. So you might want to start using some, uh, a supplement called glutamine powder along with NAC. Uh, you might want to do some bentonite clay on a regular basis. All This is all ne necessarily for the seizures, but to help clear out the, the medication. All right, I've got to motivate here. Good luck with everything, Liz. One last thing, vitamin E is very protective for the brain. You might want to consider that. And also coenzyme Q10 now that I think about it. Those are two, two supplements that might help you. All right, Liz, God bless you. Good luck with everything. And uh, really Thank you. Think, think long and hard about the surgery before you go ahead and do that. All right, let's go to uh, Georgia and say good morning to Don. Welcome to the Bright Side, Don. <laughs> Good morning, uh, Ben. Can you hear me okay? Hear you loud and clear. What's going on? Okay, really quick. I won't get to how I discovered it, but I'm dealing with uh, C3234 OPLL. OPLL. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Are you an athlete? Or are you, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, OPLL is a, is a um, ligament an issue. No? Yeah, are you? I'm an athlete. I'm in some calcification going on. How, how, old, are how old are you? How old are you? Are you carrying more weight than you need to be? No, no, I'm right about where I need to be. I'm about right where you need to be. Pounds, about five ten. Okay, well, you're you're, you're basically what's happening is your connective tissue is breaking down. Right. And the, so what you got to you got to figure out why that's happening for uh, for the listeners. That's a calcification of the of ligaments, ligament calcification. Oh, oh, I forgot what it stands for actually, but O P L L is calcification of the post. Longitudinal ligament, right, right, right. Okay, so yeah, so ca yeah, it's a calcification of the ligament issue, and that's a sign that the ligament, which is connective tissue, is starting to break down. Usually, that happens at the age of fifty. That's that's kind of early for it to happen. That's so I'm wondering if there's something else going on. Uh, I've, had some, I've had some injuries, some neck injuries. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Here's what you want to do. You might. Here's the problem when you have injuries. <clears throat> When you have injuries and you don't have body work right after you have the injuries, the body starts to form these adhesions that make you hold yourself in a weird kind of way, and that puts stress on the rest of the body. You follow me? Right. So you need some yeah. major body work there. Now, if you have any biochemical issues, like you got diabetes or digestive issues or anything that's mucking up the biochemistry, that has to be addressed also. And calcium okay. metabolism is a, is a, uh, a is an end result of kidney of the kidneys. Kidneys play a big, huge role in uh, how the body handles calcium. Various glands, the thyroid gland and the parathyroid gland. There's different parts of the body that play roles in how you handle these minerals. Uh, so you, if you have the big problem is blood sugar issues. If you have those, you want to really fix that. But I'd be getting body work right away. I mean, like today, it's going to hurt too. By the way, uh, I would have body work. Rolfing. 
R O L F roll thing. Where do you live? Are you in a big city? Uh, Georgia, Georgia. Oh, okay, so if you're in a, you know near Atlanta or, or a big city or something, get to uh, look up roll thing. Wherever it is, you want to get okay. rolled. You want to get that. You want to break that up the scar tissue and the adhesions, and you're going to want to do some yoga, stretching, some kind of connective tissue stretching, stimulating the growth of connective tissue. Also, you're going to probably want to do some your bone broth protein and glucosamine and all the connective tissue building nutrients, vitamin C, uh, essential fats. Uh, protein, all of these things are very important for helping build bone, for a uh, high hyaluronic acid, for helping build connective tissue. All right? Okay. And then, but really what focus on the osteo, the osteo, the osteo effects. Yeah, all of that. All that healthy start okay. pack. Uh, but really, I'm thinking you may have some biochemical issues too. I'm thinking if you're in Georgia and you're 50, there might be some blood sugar stuff going on. So you might want to okay. you, you might want to think about that, especially if you know if you you're noticing things like belly fat where you didn't have it before, you got a high blood pressure. Yeah, I have, uh, definitely. That's one thing I do have a lot of belly fat. Yeah, my, you might want to look at some blood sugars. You might want to look at some blood sugar stuff and that and some kidney stuff too. A uh, blood sugar is really okay. where I would, I would be focusing. All right, I want to get a couple more calls and thanks for your call, Don. Appreciate it, buddy. Have a good day, yeah. man. Ooh, shoot, I hung up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You have to call. Call us back tomorrow, Don, and we'll get to you. Bonnie, Michigan. Good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Hi. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah, about that. <laughs> hey. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm calling for a gentleman that he's about 85 years old, in very good health, very active. Um, he takes uh, young, longevity products. I'm not sure which ones, but he's healthy. Um, but he has urine retention. He cannot urinate unless he uses a catheter. Prostate. He's got a prostate issue. Well, he went and had all the tests because, yeah, that was suspected, but he went yeah. and had three possible tests, you know, and they couldn't find anything. Every all right. Then he might be having some inflammation in the urethra. I mean, he's 80. Lots of stuff could be going on. He may have some stones. Does he have any issues with stones? No, no. He Medically, they cannot Const- find- Is he constipated? No. Medically, they've not. Uh, everything's working, and that, that's what no. Told- everything's not working because he's. Well, <laughs> that's funny. I know you're saying I'm teasing you a little bit, but they say that everything's working. He's medically fine. He's not medically fine. He's breaking down. Right. The the uh, the. In order to urinate, a lot of things have to go right. It's not just you know. It's there's a lot of neur- neural activity that has to happen correctly. The nerves are fed by the connective tissue. The connective tissue breaks down as we get older. The nerves don't work as well. Mm-hmm. He's breaking down. Is basically what it is. Right. Okay. So we got to build him back up again. Simple as that. And there's no doctor on the planet that can do this. So you got to right. eliminate the problem foods. Okay. That's number one. Always number one. Work on digestive health because as the digestive system goes, so goes the rest of the body. You're not absorbing your nutrients and toxins are getting into the blood. You're not going to build connective tissue. You're not going to repair it. And everything can happen. Do you see what I'm saying? This is not a, neuro, this is not a bladder problem. It's not a, it's not a, uh, a urine problem or, or, or a plumbing problem. It's a connective tissue problem, which is a, a problem of degradation and breakdown. So you've got to build them up again. Eliminate problem foods. Support digestive health. Have him use things like, like we were just talking about, uh, bone broth and bone broth protein and, and uh, connective tissue building supplements like hyaluronic acid and essential fatty acids and the glucogel caps, vitamin C and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Make sure he's getting all of his fatty nutrients, that is his essential fatty acids plus his fatty minerals, especially zinc. I would definitely be doing 50 milligrams a day of zinc above and beyond the healthy start pack and all the things I just told you. But you want to, the guy's 87 years old, he's breaking down. We got to get him building, built up again. And that's right. basically what that's basically what all health challenges are. It's about building the body up. You know, I wish I had more time because there's a lot more you could do, but that's a great place for you to start. Thank you so much for your call, Bonnie. Okay. Appreciate it. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. And that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Please check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com and all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.